Welcome to CEREcDoctors.com and this presentation of the new Carare Panavia V5 cement system. This is a whole system that contains a ceramic primer, a tooth primer, and a dual cure color stable cement. The importance of the dual cure cement is that the cement is color stable which allows the user to use the cement in a number of different clinical applications such as both posterior and anterior teeth. The cement comes in a multiple set of different shades and each shade has its own corresponding try-in paste which allows the user to try in the restoration ahead of time to make sure they have chosen the proper shade of the cement. The other parts of the system are the clear fill ceramic primer and the Panavia V5 tooth primer. The Panavia V5 tooth primer is shown to have very high bond strengths and the cement is color stable because it contains no amines. Amines are typically the chemicals that have traditionally allowed for the dual cured reaction. Because the Panavia system contains no amines, there is no color shift over time. And because the system is dual cured, you can use it in a number of different clinical applications, such as metal crowns, implant abutments, posts, just to name a few applications. The Panavia V5 tooth primer contains the MDP adhesive monomer. This is the same adhesive monomer that was used in the clear fill bonding systems that have been popular, but it has an updated catalyst chemistry. The clear fill ceramic primer is a universal restorative primer that also contains the MDP monomer, as well as silane, and is indicated for use with all lithium disilicate ceramics, glass-based ceramics, zirconia, and metal restorations. Unlike other silane coupling agents, this system requires no waiting time and has instant activation. Using the system on the tooth structure is also user friendly. Simply scrub the bonding agent on the tooth structure for 20 seconds and air dry until the water evaporates, after which you can seat your restoration. You can choose to etch the enamel with the optional K etchant gel. The Carare V5 system is easy to use in a number of different clinical situations. Cleanup of the cement is also easy. You can choose to either tack cure the cement and clean up or allow the cement to self cure. Both techniques will be explored in the following clinical case. The patient presented with some defective amalgams and recurrent decay underneath those old amalgams. The teeth were treatment planned to be restored with conservative CIREC inlays fabricated from a resin-based material. In the first example, we will seat the molar inlay and use the tack cure method as the cleanup system of choice. Now depending on the material used for the restoration, the appropriate surface treatment needs to be performed on the intaglio of that restoration. Because we are using a resin-based milled block, the internal surface is air abraded. This prepares the surface for bonding. Please check the instructions for use included in the kit and how to treat different materials and prepare them for bonding. Once the internal surface is roughened, the clear fill ceramic primer is applied and air dried. Remember that no wait time is necessary for this and the ceramic primer can be dried instantly. The Panavia tooth primer is applied aggressively to the tooth structure for 20 seconds, after which moisture-free air is used to evaporate the water in the bonding agent. In this particular case, what we're going to do is place the Panavia clear cement and apply it directly into the tooth structure and seat the inlay. When you seat the inlay, you want to make sure that there are no voids, there's no porosities, left by seeding the restoration and that all of the margins are completely covered with the cement. A quick two second cure with a curing light allows the cement to reach a gel stage after which the cement can be easily cleaned up. The tack cure does not completely cure the cement and allows the user to use the different instruments to clean the cement with ease. Once the cleanup is complete, the final cure can be accomplished with a 20 second cure of each surface with an appropriately powered curing light. The other method of cementation is the self cure method where no curing light is used. In the second example, we will seat the inlay utilizing the self cure method. As mentioned previously, the tooth structure can be etched with the K etchant gel from Panavia. 
Etching the enamel is an optional step and is not required. Once the etch is rinsed off, the tooth primer is aggressively scrubbed into the tooth structure and as before, air dried until the water completely evaporates. Be sure to use moisture free air as you don't want any contamination to compromise your bond. Improper scrubbing of the tooth primer can lead to inadequate penetration of the bonding agent to the dentin. Do not compromise on this step. The cement is once again placed on the inside of the tooth structure and the inlay is seated, in this case using an adhesive stick to hold the small restoration. In the self-cure method, the excess cement is cleaned up and glycerin can be applied to cover the margins so as to prevent an oxygen inhibited layer from forming. Once this is applied, the cement is allowed to self-cure for approximately three minutes. No use of the curing light is needed because the cement has an equally hard setup regardless of whether a light is used to cure the cement or not. In this case, allowing the cement to self-cure will result in an equally hard cure of the cement. The Panavia system is an easy to use cement that is flexible in its use. It's a dual cure, amine free, color stable cement and because of the MDP monomer has a very high bond strength. If you have additional questions, please don't hesitate to ask those questions on the discussion board. Thank you for watching this video presentation by CEREC Doctors.com.